Last episode, we created history. We managed to take Wolves to a Champions League semi-finals, knocking out Atletico Madrid in the process. You know what? Take a look and see how that second leg played out. It was incredible. Now, Cancelo has been very good in this position as he tries to find Ronaldo. Does so successfully. Difficult angle for Cristiano Ronaldo. He humiliates Jan Oblak. Putting it through his legs. I've told you, Mr. Champions League will not disappoint you. This is his competition. Ronaldo looking for Pedro Neto. It's a brilliant release for him. And here goes Pedro Neto. Sees Leroy Sane at the back post. And Sane taps it home. What a header. Look at him celebrate. It's all over in Madrid against Atletico. Leroy Sane is the man. This is why we signed him. To be an impact player like this. And now, basically, it's time to find out who we're up against in the semi-finals of the Champions League. It could be Monaco. It could be Juventus. It could be Real Madrid. I'm praying that it's Monaco, because then that, that makes us favourites in the semi-finals. But who is it going to be? Champions League semi-finals. And it is... It's Monaco. You can't write this. You really can't. We've got the easy draw. We're now the favourites. We need to make the Champions League final. It's Wolves versus Monaco. Both legs will be in this episode. That's got to be something else. Ignoring all the Champions League drama, there's a slight chance we could wrap up the Premier League in this episode. We've already got a seven-point advantage. Also, after the craziness of that FA Cup semi-finals, we've got the FA Cup final, but that'll be in the next episode. Today's episode, it's solely based on this, the Monaco games. It's gonna be a trip to Monaco, which I'm super excited about. This Wolf series could have an incredible conclusion if we continue on this path. If you're enjoying the series, you all know what to do. Drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's begin. Press conference to kick things off. You know the drill. Check on Francisco Trincao as he immediately grew 2-3 to three ratings in overall after you sold him. Yeah, that, that was so annoying. It's happened with a fair few players, by the way. If he's still growing that well, he could be like 90 plus rated. You know what? Since we just knocked out Trincao's Atletico Madrid, why not? Let's take a look. As you guys know, early on in the series, um, Trincao's release clause of about 45 million was paid by Atletico Madrid. He joined them. He went up to like 86. He's only gone up by one since then, which is a bit of a surprise. Although his valuation is 79 million with the release clause of 165 with some crazy good stats. So... Fair enough, he's done okay for himself. Next up, since Bruno Guimaraes came and you put Neves in a more attacking position, your team has become much more balanced. What do you think? Absolutely not just Neves, Pedro Neto, Leroy Sané and even Rafinha. The overall shape of our attack has improved so much. Like, it's, it's absolutely true. Honestly, the stats don't lie. You look at the players that have benefited the most from Bruno Guimaraes' arrival. It's Ruben Neves, 14 assists this season, plus 8 goals. Pedro Neto as well, incredible outfit. Rafinha popping up with 15 goals. So, a lot of players have benefited from Bruno Guimaraes' arrival. He is the silent hero of this side. Just, he's there. Always to protect the back line. Ooh, this, this is going to create a bit of controversy. I'm just wondering, does this series end when you win the Champions League? Because I love this series and I don't want it to end. This has been one of the best career modes on this channel. Which is something I think I say every time a new career mode pops up. But honestly, yeah, this, this has been one of my favorite career modes through. The support has been crazy. We've leveled up on the editing. The thumbnails have been a lot better. So in general, everything, the entire package with this series has been so much better. And you guys appreciate it as well. So I do understand a lot of people don't want it to end. But if we win the Champions League this season, there will be a new series, guys. That's just how it works. The storyline with Wolves will be complete and we'll be moving on. So we don't know if it's going to happen. It depends on a lot of factors. We'll see. I was going to give player of the episode to an attacker. But then I realized last episode, Ruben Diaz was an absolute rock at the back. Clean sheet against Atleti. And he was just unreal. So you know what? Ruben Diaz is going to be your player of the episode. The good thing about today's episode is we can just focus on Monaco. We've got Newcastle United sandwiched between the Monaco games. But that shouldn't really be much of a problem. I reckon we can 
sim this Newcastle game, just focus on the two legs against Monaco because those are the decisive games that's going to decide the fate of this series. So I am super excited for this. I also want to see how Monaco are doing in Liga. How on earth have they managed to reach her? They're second in the league. PSG are better than them. West PSG in the Champions League, by the way. They're eight points off them. But I think Monaco is going to be a decent team. I want to see their lineup. One more problem. We've got a few fitness issues. But I reckon I'm still going to start the likes of Ronaldo, Neves, Diaz, Cancelo. We'll probably play Vinagre. But honestly, at this stage, I'm not going to let fitness dictate my starting 11. We just got to go with our strongest players because it's the business end of the season. Y'all ready for this? Because I certainly am. I I'm feeling the yellow kits for this one, guys. We, we got to use our home kits. Monaco will wear the red. Perfect. We're playing away at their home stadium. They've got Dolberg. Is that Riyad Mahrez playing in midfield? Hummels at the back. Bernardeschi. Lecomte is decent in goal. These guys have a very, very decent team. I don't think Monaco is going to be a cakewalk here. There's a reason why they're in the Champions League semi-finals. And we're about to find out now if, if this first leg can go in our favor. It'll be huge. Champions League semi-finals begins now. Let's go. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. We're playing in Monaco. It's a huge Champions League game. Bit of a different dynamic. We're the clear favorites here. Like, absolutely clear favorites. Like, honestly, you'd put all your money on this Wolves team with Cristiano Ronaldo. Missed the Champions League in it. But on the pitch, in a game like this, anything can happen. Already we're seeing Monaco on the attack. I thought he starts. I forgot to play Vinagre. I forgot to play Vinagre. Could that end up costing us? Hopefully not. We're already on the attack here. Ronaldo looking for Sane. He got there almost, but then was taken down. Oh. I do find it a bit weird seeing Mares play in midfield. Botman with a solid challenge then. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Lovely ball out wide for Pedro Neto. And we know he's got the pace here. Pedro Neto going to go for the cross. Far post for Sane. Heads it back in. That was a mistake. And look at that Mares. Acrobatic effort to get the ball away. Nardeski looking dangerous and not a fan of this. Dolberg going for goal, rattles the post. That was incredible. Oh, no, no, just catch it. There you go. A bit of a relief, boys. But my God, what just happened there? Almost instantly, Monaco took the lead in this game. We got to be careful, guys. We cannot underestimate them as we get caught offside in a very silly manner. Pedro Neto looking inside for Bruno Fernandes. I tried the shot with him. Didn't work. We keep the ball here with Neves. Tries a bit of a roulette. It works, but falls for Pedro Neto. Sees Bruno Fernandes outside the box going for goal. Bruno Fernandes trying to catch the Monaco keeper by surprise. Almost did it. Oh, Ronaldo wins that. Unbelievably lucky. Cristiano Ronaldo goes nope. for the chip. It's off the crossbar. How did I miss that? I went for the chip because there was no space. We were gifted with an opportunity. Ronaldo missed the Champions League. He tried the messy way, the cheeky chip way, but backfired. I should have just gone for power. I should have just gone for power. All right, guys, just look at how that chance came about, guys. Look at how lazy Lecomte is with his pass. And Ronaldo was ready, alert to press. And, oh, what on earth was this defender doing? I don't blame the keeper here. The defender, absolute moron. Like, what's he trying to do? Look at that. And then Ronaldo wins it, and there was just... I took an extra touch here. That was unnecessary. I should have just gone for goal. And after that, there was no space to go for a normal shot. So I went for the chip. I almost pulled it off, to be honest. But, oh. So, both teams have hit the woodwork so far in this game. Incredible. I think Monaco are a team that deserve to be here based on what they're showing so far. Because they've been decent. Dahlberg out wide for Jean Lucas. As he tries to bring it back inside. Luis Alberto. Ah, oh, that's not good for me, but Bruno Guimaraes is there to protect us. I see Sane with the pace. If we can get there first, Leroy Sane could be through on goal. Incredible pace from Sane. He's got to score this. Leroy Sane composed. Cool as a cucumber. 1-0 against Monaco. Leroy Sane scores and we get the lead in the Champions League semi-finals. We made it look easy, guys. We really did. Like... The, the build-up play, it was Bruno Mares winning the ball early on back for us. And then, just easy, Ruben Neves sliding it through for Sane. And, oh, look at the composure. Didn't go for power, went for placement, the confidence. That's why we signed him. That's why we paid the big money to bring in the German. And look at that, he's efficient. That's what the Germans are known for. 1-0 up against Monaco. 
We strike the first blow in the semi-finals. Come on, big freaking goal. Dolberg, that's a smart ball out wide for Bernardeschi. Aitnor is playing because of my silly mistake. So, well, he just got spun right there. But thankfully, Bernardeschi's won it back. I thought he made a mistake there. They've got a chance at Dolberg. Onana's closed the gap down. Well, that's going to be a goal kick. But Monaco aren't going to give up, boys. They're decent. Neves. Smart play to find Aitnori. One touch to control it. Pedro Neto. Oh, that's good defending from Hummels. As I said, Monaco are no slouch. They're going to take it seriously now. As we go sliding and Bruno Guimaraes is unreal. It's fitting. Today's episode, we started off by praising him. Calling him the rock of the demon. You guys are seeing that right now. He's been involved in the goal and in the build-up play for everything. Like, just such a solid player to have. Look at this. The way he spreads the ball. It's just class. He's still on it, controlling the game, finding Bruno, going for goal from distance and almost scoring an absolute screamer. Still 1-0 Wolves, but we're getting better and better. Set piece, Sane to take it. Decent. Ruben Diaz's header. Lecomte saved it somehow. I thought he was going to fumble it. What a chance. Bruno Fernandes looking for Pedro Neto, Ronaldo. Bruno. See Sane, another chance here, right foot and shot, it's over. It's over for Monaco. At this rate, they're going to get knocked out on the basis of the first leg itself. Leroy Sane again strikes. That's why we paid the big bucks. That's why we signed him. What a freaking player Leroy Sane is. Unreal. Solid finish. He's got a two-star weak foot, man. And he's doing stuff like this. Lovely assist from Bruno Fernandes. And there you go, 2-0 up. We still shouldn't count the chickens just yet. There's still a second half to play. But unbelievable performance in the first half. We were heavy favourites and we're showing it on the pitch. I think now is the time to bring on Vinagre, which I am going to do. There you go, he comes on for Aitnori. Jean-Lucas again. We can't let Monaco get back in this game. Ruben Diaz is always strong, making that block. Now it's Mares. We, we know his trickery. Iheanacho. Lucas, brilliant defending. The way we defend, man, it's, it's honestly a privilege to watch as Ronaldo clatters the Monaco defender. Riyad Mahrez now looking for that pass, but Ruben Diaz is as solid as a rock there. But man, Monaco's pressure in the second half has been a bit intense. Mahrez looking for that pass inside. Chance for Inacho. What a save from Onana. Set pieces are always a bit scary, but Ruben Neves has made a habit of just being in the right place and just getting the ball away and that was a fantastic release for Neto looks for Ronaldo see Sane oh come on that was that was going to be one hell of a counter if I could have pulled it off Bruno Fernandes lovely bit of trickery from him looking for Cristiano Ronaldo oh he's fighting for it can't do much better than that Ronaldo sees Pedro Neto but that was a bit too much on it I can't lie Cristiano has been a bit off in this game you know Okay, Monaco opening us up right now. This is problems as the cross comes at the far post. Lucas is header. Why didn't we clear the ball away there? Thankfully, it misses. Bruno Guimaraes once again controlling. Come on. Just as I was praising him, he gives it away. Not liking this, though. Stolberg. Inacho. Inacho again going for goal, but nothing gets past Ruben Diaz. But Inacho gets it back again. This is a bit risky now. But Ruben Diaz is doing well. A good job. Botman clears it away then. But Monaco are probing us and i'm not liking this one bit once again monaco on the attack here i'm gonna have to pull ruben diaz out of position that's not worked in our favor dolberg is going through i go sliding in so stupidly dolberg with the chance botman saves the day and it's gonna be a goal kick as well luis alberto it's a good ball Bo ruben diaz clears it away still neves go on could find leroy sane who by the way is on a hat trick and sane loves just blistering past his defenders here still Leroy Sane a few step overs but couldn't get past the defender but he did his job Leroy Sane what a ball for Pedro Neto who wins the header offside though Bruno Fernandes is broken through looking for Pedro Neto on the volley bang it's over in the 90th minute we strike again against Monaco I didn't expect to wrap this up in the first leg but I think we have Champions League semi-finals we've we've clapped monaco here like i know it was expected they were like a dark horse in this competition but we just completely destroyed them what a volley from pedro neto like oh no stopping that i think it's over away from home we've beaten them 3-0 this season we're showing intent in almost every game we play and that's why we're almost there 
in a Champions League final. Unbelievable performance. There you go. Referee ends the game. Puts Monaco out of their misery. What a performance. 3-0 up. Second leg, I think, is just going to be a formality with the way we played. Clean sheet as well. It was just perfect. Okay, who is this guy? Bruno Giordao. We were going to talk about my contract situation. Dude, who? Who are you? I literally, I forgot, I forgot about you, dude. Like, Bruno Giordao, I don't know who you are. I don't really care about you as well. Can I, like, release you from your contract? Like, you're not even playing, and I don't know why you're asking to, for, like, a better deal. I'm just kicking you out of the squad, my guy. Get out of here. Oh, so, yeah, get that nigga out of here. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, it's looking like Real Madrid will be the team we play in the Champions League final. It'll be fitting. It would be fitting. But of course, we still need to get through the second leg for now. Bit of focus on the premise. We take on Newcastle in 11th place. Now, we do have a bit of stamina issues, which we are going to have to adjust with. So, we will do exactly that. Probably going to play Rafinha as well. Uh, we'll play Braganza. We, yeah, we, we, we'll just do this. I reckon this should be fine for us to get a win against an average Newcastle team. There you go. Watkins scores Bruno as well. Perfect. Brace from the duo. Gonna be honest with you guys, seven points clear. I reckon we'll be done with the Premier League before even we will have to play the Man United and Liverpool games. That's just how big of an advantage we've got. Honestly, bit insane. I never expected that I'll be simulating a Champions League semi-final game, but the job's done. 3-0 in the first leg, we slapped Monaco silly. 1-1 result in the second leg, it's over. We've booked our spot in the Champions League final and we've done it in incredible fashion. And I think it's confirmed it's going to be Wolves versus Real Madrid in that Champions League final. Another Premier League game that we're going to smash through against Fulham. We keep winning. We could wrap up the title. Ah, we take an L. Of course, we freaking take an L. 2-1 loss to, to, to Fulham of all clubs. That's not good. Okay, but I think Liverpool drop points as well, so they kind of mudded regardless. I think so. I, I think Liverpool are mudded regardless because they're six points behind. Yeah, it's it's still over for them. I feel the Premier League title race is all but over, so I'm just going to sim this game against Aston Villa as well. What happens here? It's a 3-1 win. I think we've won the Premier League. I think it depends on the mats. It depends on the mats. Oh, we haven't won the Premier League just yet. You wonder why? It's because if Liverpool beat us in one of the final two games that we've got, or Man United beat us, both have to beat us, then if Liverpool have a better goal difference than us, they can win the league. The title race is not over. So I guess in the next episode, we'll play Manchester United and our objective is to just get a draw. We get a draw against Man United. That's enough to give us the guaranteed Premier League title. All right, that's the play. Next episode, we'll wrap up the Premier League, although it's 99% sure we're going to win it for now. It's the FA Cup final. By the way, the drama in this competition. That semi-finals was iconic. 5-4, we managed to knock out Southampton after a ridiculous second half. You know what? Roll the clip on that second half. And Pedro Neto gets that one. And here we go on the attack once again. I see Ronaldo making an early run. But I'm going to find Rafinha. It falls for Bruno Fernandes. And we get another one back. Neto looks to find Ronaldo. Releasing this one for Rafinha. It's his moment. Roof of the net. We get the equalizer for all. This has been unbelievable. Still Bruno finds Neves. Out wide for Rafinha, last chance of this game. Ruben Neves goes for goal in the 90th minute. Ruben Neves does it. 5-4 against Southampton. You can't write this stuff. Look at the celebrations. Everybody is out there. We've knocked out Southampton in the FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley. In one of the craziest games of FIFA I have ever, ever, ever played. It was incredible the way we pulled it off and deservedly so we're in the final against Liverpool. Let's win this. Rafinha has played such a big part in the FA Cup. I just have to play him. Plus, gotta play Connor Cody. A chance for him to win a trophy. We'll make him captain as well. I will play Vinagre though. And that's gonna be the team for this FA Cup final. That's the Liverpool side. Mane, Salah and Jota. They've got Valverde Newhouse. 
Trent Van Dijk. Oh, this is a great Liverpool team. Time to get a bit of revenge because last season they broke our hearts and won the Premier League over us. Let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, I initially planned to have this FA Cup final in the next episode along with a potential Champions League final, but I didn't expect to just steamroll Monaco in that game. Like, honestly, like, that was unreal. And here we are now in an FA Cup final. I really want to get the better of Liverpool as Rafinha dances past his man, looks for that cross at the far post. Trent gets it away. Rafinha looking in the mood. Okay, so does Diogo Jota as he finds Sadio Mane. Now Fede Valverde Mane through with the chance here. Whew, that was stressful. Onana with a good safe plus. We blocked all lines very well with Ruben Diaz. Chance for Jota. Connor Cody is the man having to block all defensive lines. Does so very well. Uh, Liverpool are genuinely the most difficult team I've faced in this series. Like, they're just unreal. Salah goes for goal. Onana saves, but it was offside anyways. Ragimaresh, we will need him to control that midfield in today's game. Here's Ruben Neves now. What can he do? Can he find that space? Cleverly done to find Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Pedro Neto. Could look for that cross at the far post. Rafinha heading it back for Ronaldo. Ah, oh, couldn't really do much there. Oh, we get it back for Bruno Guimaraes. Rafinha. Neves. Sees Cancelo. Are there any passing options? Bruh. What's Cancelo done? What was that? Did Cancelo just forget how to play football there? Like, he just fake shot it. What was he doing? Jota. Looking inside for Fede Valverde, huge save from Onana. That saves us there. You go 1-0 down against Liverpool, it's a nightmare to deal with. No, 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 how is that a penalty? Are you joking? That can't be a pen. That cannot be a pen. I need a replay. I refuse to believe that's a pen. How is that a penalty? Like, honestly. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, this is, this is so stressful right now. This is so freaking stressful. Honestly. Mo Salah to take this one. Onana, please. Onana, please. Onana saves it. Onana saves the penalty from Mo Salah. And that keeps the scoreline level. It's deserved. Absolutely deserved. Mo Salah bottles. Let's go. And it's us on the attack now. We fire this one for Pedro Neto. Cross to the back post for Ruben Neves. Forts for Ronaldo on the volley and we've scored. Oh my God. Cristiano Ronaldo literally from the same attack. Mo Salah missed his penalty. We've just done what Troy Deeney and Watford did a few seasons ago. Oh my God. You missed a penalty and then from the same run of play, we end up scoring. And it was a similar volley. We just recreated the Troy Deeney moment. Cristiano Ronaldo, what a finish. In a cup final, you can bet your house on Ronaldo to deliver. What a volley that was. Just perfect. My voice is going. Honestly, unreal moment. Cristiano Ronaldo getting it done from literally seconds away from being 1-0 down. Onana saved the day. And then, of course, Ronaldo brightened it even more. 1-0 up in the FA Cup final just what we needed here goes bruno fernandez look at the strength of bruno where does he get this strength he's just bodying everyone coming after him finds cristiano ronaldo gets past virgil van dijk ronaldo goes for goal that was a good run from him alisson forced to make the save there and that's led to a set piece opportunity we're not attacking corners over alisson bruno fernandez is that joe cancelo completely free Goes for goal. No, no, no. He's rattled the cross, but he was onside as well. Oh, I think he was. He was onside. That was so unlucky. We could have caught Liverpool by surprise there. Should have been 2-0. Really should have. Oh, Neves gets taken out. He gets cleaned out by Robbo there. Of course it's a booking. Fabinho. That's a good release for Mo Salah. Danger. Don't want to concede just after getting the lead. Oh, it falls for... Jota, but Onana is unbeatable, honestly. Having him is like such an advantage. Mane goes for goal. Onana again. What a keeper. Look at the XG. Our XG is 1, and we've scored once. Theirs is 2.6. They've been so on and off in terms of finishing, and we've taken complete advantage of it. Second half, let's go. Mane looking to burst through. It's a good ball at the far post, but you're not getting through Onana. You just aren't. Ruben Neves. 
Sees Rafinha if he's got the pace. Oh, he doesn't. Mo Salah is dangerous in these situations. He's done me there. He's completely done me. Looking for that cross for Fede Valverde. Oh, Connor Cody saves us there. But no, we've given it away. Fede Valverde, Vinagre saves us. What a block from Vinagre. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Now it's a set piece. Mane going for the ball in. That should be easy pickings for Onana. Neto, and look at the open space here for Bruno Fernandes. That was a very heavy touch, but he still has it. Bruno Fernandes. What did he try there? I was trying to do like a fake shot thing, but just didn't work. Okay, don't tell me Harvey Elliott is onside here. No way is he onside. He finds Mane. This is problem. It's Origi, actually. Origi's been brought on. Cross at the far post. Fede Valverde hits the side netting. We are collapsing defensively. We got to be play better. Fede Valverde going for goal. That was a very good attempt. It falls for Trent. I think he's offside. Offside. Onana with another crucial save. Bruno Fernandes. And here we go with Vinagre. I'm liking this. If Ronaldo can make the run ahead. But it falls for someone else completely. Still an opportunity here with Vinagre. If he can maybe... <laughs> what was that? That, that, that was... We're actually going to keep it in with Rafinha. That was one of the worst shots I have ever seen in my life. As we find Ronaldo. Can't win the header. Virgil van Dijk gets it away. A oh, brilliant run from Ruben Neves. Going for that finesse shot. Looping effort. But that was asking a bit too much from him. Liverpool need to score. Are they going to get that one chance they need? Origi looking for that pass for Harvey Elliott. No. The one time we needed something special from Onana. He, I mean, to be honest. Can't always expect something ridiculous from him. It's my fault. I, I can't can't blame Onana at all. He's been a god in this game. Goes through his legs, though. That was... Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Harvey Elliott's finish was unreal. Who remembers him from the Creator Club series that we did early on on FIFA? 1-1. One, one. Liverpool, deservedly so. Get that equaliser. Now, extra time could be on the cards. The way Liverpool play, it's going to leave us spaces towards the end of this game. And we got to try and exploit that. Nah, Virgil. We still have it. We still have it. Bruno Fernandes strikes it. Bruno Fernandes, I can't believe it. In the 86th minute. What a goal from Bruno. It could be all over. We could be winning the FA Cup. And it could be a screamer from Bruno Fernandes. A potential goal of the season contender. That's what you call that. What a strike from Bruno. Take a look at that, boys. Oh, my God. A bit of a mistake from Virgil van Dijk. And Bruno let that one fly. The weight went up and down. It was lovely. Look at the technique. It was a knuckleball from Bruno Fernandes. And it was outrageous from Bruno. That puts us 2-1 up. And it could end this, this, this FA Cup final. Did I just say Champions League? Yeah, FA Cup final against Liverpool. Oh, boy. Three minutes to hold on. Okay, okay, if we concede now, I'll be an idiot. I'll be an absolute idiot. Mane, Fabinho, Origi, what am I doing? What am I doing? Shocking defending from me. Oh, this is this is peak drama in the FA Cup final. Chaotic defending. I just couldn't get the ball away. And it's freaking Divock Origi that scores. Yep, this is going to extra time. That was the last kick in the game feel like an idiot man but well extra time it is all right first chance and extra time and it could be Rafinha the man trying to get well he just couldn't get past this man was it a mistake to start Rafinha over Sane I don't know man I just feel like he deserved to play this game just because of how he played in the previous rounds as we try and take down Curtis Jones we missed on both occasions Curtis Jones could play the ball back in we're trying to block any option for a cutback and Ruben Diaz did that very smartly. Risky clearance, but we get the ball away. Oh, the space for Pedro Neto. I'm certainly liking this. Here he goes. Pedro Neto goes for goal. Forces a big save from Allison. We still have it with Rafinha. Oh, that's, that's a fantastic block from Robbo. This is, this is scary now. This is getting scary. This is getting very scary. Origi out wide for Kappa. Ah, oh, that's Vinagre's ball. He's too quick. He is too quick. And that should mean the first half of extra time is done. 15 more minutes to decide the game. Otherwise, this is going to go to pens. I'm already starting to plan. What if this game goes to penalties? Who's got good penalty stats in this team right now? We, we need to know. 73 for Sane. 
That's, that's not too great. 77 for Fabio Silva. Watkins on 66. Braganza on 66. I don't think there's anyone we can bring on to have better penalties. So, yeah, no substitutions needed. Just got to get through these 15 and hopefully we can maybe win it in these 15. You know, Fernandez, there's space for Rafinha and here he goes. What a chance it is for him. Rafinha, fake shot in... No, why did I try that? I should have just gone for a simple cutback. Oh, it's going to penalties, guys. Nothing much happened in the second half of extra time. Penalties is going to decide this game. I'm nervous. FA Cup final. It's going to pens. Oh, boy. Bruno Fernandes to take the first one. We're going to let Ronaldo take the last one. That's just how he likes it. So, yep, that's what we're doing. Is it risky? I think it absolutely is. But, okay. That's just how it's going to go. We're taking the first penalty in this FA Cup final. Bruno Fernandes to take this one. Where to go? I'm going left. I'm going left. Oh, that was horrible for me, penalty-wise. But we got it done. Can Onana save this? Off the crossbar. We get the early lead. Now, Rafinha has to do a job. I'm going to try and put this one top corner. I thought that was in. I thought that was in. We missed. And now Mane to take this one. He goes down the middle. Smart fella. It's 1-1 it's one, one now. Ruben Neves with a big responsibility. Bruh. How on earth did Alisson read that? No. Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones. Onana needs to save this. He's missed it. He's missed it, guys. He's missed it. It's Bruno Guimaraes' turn. I'm just going to believe my gut instinct. Go left. How does he know I'm going there? Origi to take this one. Onana, please. Onana, please. No, no, no. Cristiano, you got to score this, dude. You got to score this one. Ronaldo, he puts it home. Cristiano puts it home. We don't save this. It's over. We could be losing a penalty shootout. He's missed. Harvey Elliott is missed, guys. Harvey Elliott is missed, giving us a bit of hope. Pedro Neto, where are you going to go? That's, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. If we save this, if Fede Valverde misses his penalty, he's missed it, guys. Onana saves it, and we've just won the FA Cup. Oh, my God. From seconds away to losing it, Onana saves the day. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. My God. Wow. Just wow. What a freaking penalty shootout this was. We've just won the FA Cup, the first of potentially three trophies. Unreal. You know what, guys? Played the episode for me. It's Onana. Has to be Onana. Absolutely. Next episode, we will we'll get to the Champions League final. Wrap up the Premier League and all that sort of good stuff. For now, time to wrap up the episode in, a, in the best possible way. Lifting that FA Cup. We've won the FA Cup in this series. And we're going to now see Connor Cody be the man. Lift that trophy. Things you do love to see. Incredible penalty shootout, man. For a moment, I thought we were going to lose. But we did it. Connor Cody lifts that trophy. We've won the FA Cup. And with that, I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.